Hi students, welcome to lesson 36, Development, Displacement and Social Crisis. Part A. The various development projects which are essential to attain infrastructural development and economic growth has serious impact on entire environment including flora, fauna, landscapes, river systems, water quality and shorelines. The large scale deforestation due to mining and establishment of industries has resulted in climate change and inconsistent weathers. Big dams submerge huge area of forest cover causing irreversible loss to varieties of flora and fauna besides the land area. After completion of this lesson, you will be able to understand the concept of development and displacement, understand how development induced displacement leads to social crisis. Let us first discuss the concept of development. In simplest sense, development is growth plus change. Development is a procedure of arranged institutional change to achieve better adjustment between human needs and goals at one side and social plans and projects on other side. It is translating economic progress into better living conditions for people in society. It is fighting against poverty, illiteracy, ignorance, inequality, irrationality and oppression prevalent in society. It aims at not merely uplifting the weak, the underprivileged and the disadvantaged people, but also at improving the quality of life of all citizens. Development can be comprehensively characterized to benefit the community at large as an upward movement including more prominent levels of vitality, effectiveness, quality efficiency, imagination, happiness and achievement. Development is governed by many factors that influence the result of developmental efforts. Development requires assets such as capital innovation and supporting infrastructure. Development envelops social, economic, political and cultural procedure of progress in human societal order. The development activities such as dams, commercial enterprises, streets, irrigation system, pipelines and transportation system and energy assets go for creating and supporting both agriculture and industrial growth bringing about expansion of both national and per capita incomes. However, the developments of infrastructure and commercial enterprises have led to displacement of large number of people. As the developing countries have to provide the basic amenities to people, investment infrastructure is expected to shoot up over the next couple of decades. As the investment in infrastructure grows, the challenge of solving resettlement and rehabilitation has become very critical. Several perspectives on developments have emerged including economic growth perspective, human development perspective, social development perspective, sustainable development perspective also. Let us now discuss the concept of displacement. Displacement refers to not only those who are forced to physically relocate in order to make way for project and its related aspects, but also includes those who are displaced from their resource base and livelihoods. 
post independent india has witnessed a large number of development projects for fulfilling the socio economic needs of different categories of population residing in different parts of country efforts were made by government authorities for the promotion of major medium and small scale developmental projects in sectors like irrigation industries power transportation etc the various development projects have displaced about 2 crores of people primarily as a direct consequence of land acquisition in addition to it number of people are not included in list of project affected people pap india has one of the highest rates of development induced displacement in the world large dams huge industrial and mining projects communication and transportation network as well as power projects have uprooted millions of people in many cases instantly depriving them of their cultural identities and livelihood literature shows that in majority of cases the numbers of persons displaced by development projects were underestimated displacement involves physical eviction from a dwelling and the expropriation or dispossession of productive land and other assets to make possible an alternative use displacement is a multi dimensional phenomenon of which physical movement is one of the most critical consequences displacement not only results in physical relocation but also lessens the life quality of the communities to subhuman condition it also affects socio economic and cultural aspects of life internally displaced people are those persons who have been forced or obliged to flee from their home or places of habitual residence in particular as a result of or in order to avoid the effects of armed conflict situation of generalized violence violation of human rights or natural as well as man made disasters and who have not crossed the internationally recognized state border these are some of the critical causes of displacement firstly natural disasters force many to leave their homeland they move out of their region because of earthquakes cyclones floods and droughts they are called disaster displaced persons secondly people get displaced because of the man made disasters like gas disaster in bhopal for example migrants from india to pakistan and vice versa during partition in 1947 thirdly people get displaced from their habitats due to wars civil unrest and social conflicts they become refugees fourthly changes in economic policies also sometimes force people to relocate to new place to sustain their livelihood in recent decades lakhs of traditional fishing families millions of tribals and dalits have been rendered jobless due to certain reconstruction on economic activities fifthly majority of people in india are displaced because of construction of large dams mines highways metros as well due to process of urbanization land is also acquired for the development of industrial educational and other infrastructure projects with the globalization lots of development activities are planned for the beautification and development of cities and rural communities the problem of displacement is not merely economic it is also a socio cultural problem it disturbs the entire social network relationships and thus disturbs a particular way of life 
it also affects the traditional activities and an already established social order the displaced people are forced to change their lifestyle without really being compensated for their social loss and thus they remain under pressure leading to socio cultural stress displacement also causes impoverishment and marginalization displacement is viewed as a problem since it is both compulsory and involuntary only in rare cases fair compensation is given to the displaced displacement caused through involuntary actions forces people to go without land leads to shattered homes and with no job to rely upon displacement leads to homelessness homelessness is being without a place with one's own ownership to losing out on common minimum socio cultural group and losing out one's own identity as a whole it results into loss of daily earnings and having no vocation to support the livelihood the people who are losing on their livelihood are primarily tribal communities labor class and artisans without any land workers in industry and small and medium business class the involuntary shift from long establishment imposes lots of mental pressure to start a life afresh an additional cause of stress is the fear of abandoning the places of worship and community living the result may be increased sickness and grief the emotional stress is aggravated by feeling of the helplessness as no amount of arguments plea or revolt can prevent the inevitable forced displacement the displaced communities and people also face disempowerment and dispossession it also disturbs their production system and income sources long established social standing and kinship linkages are also broken because of displacement thus from social and cultural point of view displacement is a disruptive process and it creates high risks of impoverishment among displaced displacement has serious social impact social impact is defined as the impact on human populations of any public or private activities that disturbs the manner in which people live work play identify with each other associate to fulfill social needs and generally cope as members of society social impact assessment SIA is carried out to study the impact on people due to development action and it intends to identify the impact after the development project is implemented through such assessment voices needs and aspirations of people and diverse groups are taken into account displacement induces insecurity and helplessness in people displacement also leads to health deterioration and increased rate of mortality as services in those selected areas are the first to be cut due to the altered circumstances somewhere nutritional requirement of family also gets affected let us now talk about development induced displacement one can witness a paradigm shift in 1950s and 1960s from simple and traditional indian society to modern and complex one technological capital intensive and large scale development projects accelerated the growth in economy of indian society it was then followed by a new development paradigm which promotes poverty reduction environmental protection social justice and human rights 
but such development not only brings benefit rather it imposes cost on some sections of the society among its greatest costs has been the involuntary displacement of millions of vulnerable people amid the 1990s development induced displacement rose as a concern and a challenge to the sustainable economic development development induced displacement can be defined as the forcing of communities and individuals out of their homes often also their homelands for the purposes of economic development natural resource extraction urban renewal or development programs and infrastructure projects such as highways bridges irrigation canals and dams all require land often in large quantity one common consequence of such projects is the upheaval and displacement of communities it is estimated that 10 million people were displaced annually by the so called developmental activities forest resources river systems and mineral base were most alluring zones for the development activities tribal and backward areas were focus of their earlier developmental projects tribals or adivasis constitute approximately 8.2% space in india's total population remain largely a neglected group there are multiple but different consequences of this development induced displacement the quality of life of displaced people and potential for physical and emotional growth is dormant family and community life is almost totally destroyed the opportunity for cultural activity hardly exists and the right of movement is highly restricted those living in camps especially women have to endure outrageous invasions of their privacy basic health care for all and education of children are virtually non existent their right to participate and contest in political processes is difficult such forced shifts disrupt even the lives of women adversely the loss of access to traditional sources of livelihood like land forest sea river pastures cattle or salt pan land renders additional burden on women women not only suffer in terms of health and nutrition they also lose the capacity to provide a secure future for their children by resorting to seasonal migration they have unwittingly denied their children access to school healthcare child welfare and other welfare services michael cernia has given these risks associated with development induced displacement firstly landlessness land acquisition can result into decapitalization and pauperization of displaced people it disrupts the basics of displaced people by affecting their system of production earnings and commercial activities secondly joblessness the involuntary shift threatens the wage employment of affected people working in industries service sector or agro industries located at rural or urban areas discomfort of physical relocation is short lived but the negative impact due to unemployment or underemployment may linger for long time thirdly homelessness displacement at times deprives the displaced of their shelter temporary homelessness is common feature in such cases and some faces this problem for longer periods fourthly marginalization the trend of slipping to the lower levels is called as marginalization reduced social psychological and economic statuses are the visible impacts of marginalization 
spelling of injustice and inequality lowers the self confidence of the affected masses in society and themselves. Fifthly, food insecurity. At times, forced uprooting may result into temporary or chronic undernourishment. It can obstruct normal growth and work. Sixthly, Michael Cernia also speaks about increased morbidity and mortality. Cernia found that serious decline in health levels is directly related with displacement. Involuntary shift imposes social stress and psychological trauma which at times are accompanied by outbreak of vector borne diseases such as malaria etc. Supply of unsafe water, filthy drainage system, all these negatively affect the health of the family members and most vulnerable children and elderly. Seventhly, loss of access to common property. Many traditional activities are dependent on common property resources of particular locality. With the loss of it, income and livelihood sources to deteriorates. Upon that, usually displaced are not compensated for these losses by the government. Eighthly, social disarticulation. Involuntary relocation ends up into number of social changes at individual, family and community levels. The fragmentation of families, scattering of kinship network, uprooting of communities and dismantling of social and interpersonal ties are some of the major social changes associated with the involuntary displacement and relocation. It disperses informal life supporting the social network. Let us now summarize this lesson. The various development projects have displaced about 2 crores of people primarily as a direct consequence of land acquisition. In addition to it, number of people are not included in list of project affected people. India has one of the highest rates of development induced displacement in the world. Large dams, huge industrial and mining projects, communication and transportation network as well as power projects have uprooted millions of people in many cases, instantly depriving them of their cultural identities and livelihood. The problem of displacement is not merely economic, it is also a socio-cultural problem. It disturbs the entire social network relationships and thus disturbs a particular way of life. It also affects the traditional activities and an already established social order.